Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You are tuning in to Outdoors with Creed. Uh, first of all, thank you for everybody who has subscribed to the channel. Everybody who's watching the videos, I greatly appreciate that. If you haven't already, please drop down there, uh, hit that subscribe button, make sure you click on the bell so you get notified every time I do a video. At the end of the video, if you like it, do me a solid favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Drop me some comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, well, as you can see, I'm out here in the shop again. Uh, this is this is probably more of some kind of announcement, I guess you could say. Kind of. Special announcement for me. Um, I was out here uh, messing around over here. Here, I'll turn this way so you guys can see. Let's see if I can get it. Uh guys see it can you see it can you see it okay back over here in this corner i got me a new ride from six gill uh it's their it's the finra or yes finra rod i think i'm saying that right if i'm not six gill i apologize but it's their flipping stick that one there is a 7.2 medium heavy i don't think i need to go real big on the rod uh but medium heavy that's gonna be my new flipping rod and the rod that I currently have set up for my flipping stick, I'm going to switch that over and make that just for Carolina for rig fishing. But as always, that rod has the uh, cork uh, hand grips on it. So like I always do with my rods that have the cork, I always put that cork seal on there. That is some great stuff. I've got a rod out in the boat that I've used that on. It was one of the first ones. And the cork has started to chip on it probably within the last year, but it is still... In pretty good condition so that cork seal is is the real deal man uh like i said anytime i get a new rod with a cork hand grip i put cork seal on it it helps protect the the cork on it it helps it last a lot longer and i would say maybe after a year year and a half uh go ahead and reapply that cork seal onto that rod just to maintain that that look and that feel on that hand grip but while i was out here doing that uh the announcement that I'm needing to make. Big announcement. So you guys have seen me over here messing with this stuff. My area where I've been making my own lures. Uh, here's a glass that's got some plastic in it that I was making. And I believe in that video I had mentioned to you guys that hopefully one day I would get a chance to maybe get into making lures and selling them right now i'm still doing the plastics i've got a couple of molds here uh this is a swim bait mold right here i've got a crawl uh this one is my jerk bait rod or sorry not rod but it's my jerk bait mold and uh, that is the three inch I just had to look and see this one is some of my bait fish these are my bait fish so this one it doesn't have the little hanger so but this mold here and then these molds are my bait fish and then this is a crawl and then these are my different worms so I got my bait fish and worms and creature baits and stuff like that. But uh, my big announcement is I have actually got to a point, I've got some of the bags over here and I've actually got a couple of lures bagged up. What you guys think about that? I have set up a website. It is, it is an official website where you can place your order to get some of these lures that I'm making. The website is called outdoorswithcreed.com. All one word, outdoorswithcreed.com. Place your order. Uh, I've got a couple of them already on there. I am still trying to come up with different colors and get names for them and stuff like that. So please be patient. I will try to get some of these colors on there. But you can go on there now and place your orders for get you some lures um i've got one picture of a guy who got a couple of these worms from me and he went out fishing a small little area on the arkansas river 
and he said that he caught about a two pound bass so I'm going to say they work. He said that they work, but I want you to go get you some, order you some, and tell me if they work. Um, I do have some scents that I can put in your lures, as well as an additive right here. The jar that this stuff came in, it broke on me, so I had to put it into a different jar. But this is just a sinking additive. It's kind of like adding uh, the salt to the lures, but I guess that uh it's supposed to be a little bit better and it's high density so you probably don't need as much as you would if you loaded it with salt but it's supposed to help get your worms down there so it gives you that sinking action or you can go without that additive and have more of a floating worm style but uh just go on the website it's got all the options and stuff on there to click if you want to add sin or not add the sinking uh additive or not you know like I said, I'm still working on it, trying to get everything worked out, but it is up and running. You can place your orders. So just go on there. Uh, what did I just say? Outdoors with Creed. Oh my goodness, y'all, I'm forgetting my own stuff. Outdoorswithcreed.com, place your orders. Please be patient with me as I get that stuff made and get them sent to you. I still have a full-time job. I'm still in law enforcement. That's, that's kinda, you know, my deal. But making these lures for everybody else in this YouTube channel, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, without you guys, I would not be able to do that, making the lures as well as making these videos. So I do appreciate you guys for subscribing. Uh, some of you have put out comments saying, you know, hey, do a video of you making the lures. I will do more of those because the first couple of ones, I don't think they were too good. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I did a good job making those lures when I was making those videos. So I will try to get another video for you guys of me making some lures. And I'll get them bagged up. And they'll be ready to order. A lot of the orders though, I'm, I'm doing this basically as, as you guys put in your orders for the lures. And then I will get them made. I don't have a whole bunch of the lures just made up ready to go. So as you place your orders... I will fill your orders and then get them sent out to you but uh that was my big announcement real quick though what do you guys think about this this is a t-shirt that my wife made for me using her cricket machine it is my logo as you guys can see the outdoors with creed there you go there's the creed right there she made this drop comments let me know what you guys think about it, tell her she done a great job because I greatly appreciate this shirt. I bugged her and bugged her and bugged her about making a shirt for me. I think I started to get on her nerves a little bit, but she did it anyway. Uh, she even made a, a picture frame or she made a picture with this same logo right here and framed it for me. I'm going to find a spot out here in the shop somewhere where I need to get it. Uh, that way it's in the shot every time I do a video out here. I don't, I'm going to have to find a spot. But drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this shirt. Tell my wife she's done a great job. And I'm going to get these lures made up. I just need you guys to go to outdoorswithcreed.com and put in your orders for them. And as these lures start to sell more and more, I will get more molds and more items to go along with them. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the eyes, the reflective eyes for my jerk baits. So drop a comment on that too, guys. Let me know. Do I go with the reflective eyes or no? Shoot me a comment and let me know about that. And I'll try to get that done. And that's all I got, guys. I just really wanted to drop that out to you guys that I have launched a website where you can order the lures and help me grow my channel. That way I can, one, I need to learn more about fishing and lure making and how to use these lures. So when I do these videos, I can give you guys some good information to help you go out here and be a better fisherman and not just cram a bunch of stuff on these videos and give you a bunch of useless information because I don't want to do that. Internet's full of that stuff. 
YouTube is full of that stuff and I don't want to be a part of that group I want to give you guys good information so whether it's uh, my fishing or lure making whether it's my workouts or my tactical shooting or anything like that my hunting my hunting has really been slacking guys I, I apologize for this hunting has been slacking for me it just seems like around that time is a very very busy time you know with all the holidays and stuff like that because I help my mom out a lot she does some catering for some people and I usually have to help her out sometimes with uh, loading the food in the car and unloading and all that good jazz gotta help mama out always help mama out so that kind of ties up my time during the hunting season but I will try to get some videos out there for hunting some pictures or something but I really want to get better at doing this stuff doing the videos and giving you guys good information so that way you can go out here and have a good time I want you to be successful at what you're trying to do with the information I'm giving but the the ultimate goal is to have fun enjoy life enjoy the outdoors uh, for my folks here in Arkansas it's not called the natural state for no reason get outside and enjoy it I know we got some bipolar weather here in Arkansas but just get out there and enjoy it and everybody else in other states whatever you got going on in your state enjoy it enjoy your state enjoy the outdoors because once you lose it it's gone it's hard to get it back so enjoy it enjoy the outdoors and enjoy life thank you for watching again hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up if you guys like this video drop me some comments drop me some comments about the lures reflective eyes no reflective eyes drop me a comment on the shirt hopefully we'll get the, the uh, this will get better and we can start actually putting the shirts and other uh, apparel on the website as well one day I might try to get into making jigs my, my brother actually has the melting pot and stuff for that so I might get into that that's gonna take some time let me get good at the plastics and then I'll work my way into those jigs but uh yeah drop me some comments about the, the lures do I go reflective eyes on the jerk baits or no? And the shirt. Let the wife know she done a good job. Drop some comments and, and let her know what you think. And if you guys got any kind of ideas that could help her, because I'm pretty sure she's going to do other projects with her cricket machine. Please give her some good feedback on that because she is still learning uh, that machine as well. So that's all I got, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, again, enjoy life. Enjoy your life. Okay? So until next time, see you guys in the great outdoors.